Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise him again. Let me just, my name is Akum Jacenta, Jaguar International for Jesus. I'm here to give a short testimony because of stubbornness. This testimony goes like this. I loved, I had toothache. I went to the hospital without telling my spiritual father that I'm going to the hospital because I'm stubborn. I went to the hospital without eating. I went to the hospital without making anybody to know that I'm there. But when I reached the hospital, they tested me. That the doctor says that the level of pains in me, my cells are too sensitive on pains. They gave me the first ampoule of anesthesia. It does not work. Second, it does not work. Third, it does not work. Fourth, it does not work. Fifth, it does not work. Sixth, it does not work. Seven, it does not work. Eight, it does not work. Nine, the doctor, they were confused now. They said, what is happening? Then I just said, Didi Alo, if you leave me now, where should I go? I called out. I said, bring my anointing oil. Bernard, where are you? When he brought the anointing oil, I used the anointing oil from as I use the anointing oil, that's when the doctors realized that they have given me nine apples of anesthesia. The ten that they were supposed to give, they stopped. As they stopped, they came out. They were just saying, but what happened? What happened? What happened? This is part of stubbornness. Jacinta, go back home and eat nothing. Jacinta, go back. Don't drive when your BP is up. Nothing. This is stubbornness. Just imagine if I died on the theater. That particular last week, my parents will say, Didi Alo has passed me. This is an example that I want to give to each and every one. It's due to my stubbornness. If I die, because my family will accuse Didi Alo that you have served that woman. Look at the grace you are coming from. Look at the grace, what happened? They will say, why didn't you do something? It is now Didi Alo will tell you, don't drink, don't smook tell your son don't drink but when you drink they will kill they will poison you go and do it when you die they will point finger on him because of what stubbornness then mama will say i will no more go to church don't go because your son or your daughter has died that is why i'm standing here to tell you that is what happened then they gave me three days the whole of that week was ghost town I went to the hospital. I informed my spiritual father that I am going to the hospital now. I'm entering into the theta room now. He says, you are blessed. Go. They use one ampoule of anesthesia. He walks. And now, that is why I want to tell viewers over the world that when the prophet says, don't do this, don't do. Due to stubbornness, I could have lost my life. Then the blame will go to him. And most of us sitting here, if it happens today, you people will say the same thing. Am I right? You will say, Is Didi Alo has done it? And that is what to open the ears of every parent. They are not answering. Are they around? I don't come back. I know you will not answer. If it happens, you will say, Didi Alo. Things like this can happen. So, what Jacinta is saying is just simple. It's just simple. It's stubbornness. But I thank God. Her testimony is a warning to you. And thanking God for her own life. So, your advice? My advice all over the world, people all over the world, my brothers and sisters, mothers sitting here is that when the prophet tells you, stop smoking, stop it. Stop drinking, stop it. They will poison you. Because if you don't stop those things, stop fornicating. If you don't do it, you look at him too small. You are fat. Let me tell you, you are digging your grave because when you go and smoke and drink, the poison you, you die. Your family will be the first person to depart from church. But I want to advise even my own children. If I die today, it's my stubbornness. If you don't want to come to church, don't come. My mother, you don't want to come to church, don't come. It is your life. My life, I will go to my grave. And... To add to this, to add to this, don't think if you don't come to church, it has anything to do with me. The day I come here, I don't see you. I'll preach to empty benches. It's your life. And when I tell you don't drink, you drink. If they poison you, you die. Listen to me very well. 
He can't they call me. Do something. Measure your God cannot fail me. You will waste your time. So, Madam Jesus, that, I think that is all. Yes, Papa. Sweet. That very same day, I was inside. They removed. I was inside. Bernadette was outside. Before we came out, they have removed all the lights of my car. They stole it. They, yes. The doctor was. The doctor's car was parked this way. Mine was parked they this removed way. Their own. They removed all the lamps on my the the, the traffic lights. Everything. We we're so surprised. The doctor says, "Madam, your situation was not an easy one." I said, "Thank you, sir," and I left. But this is an advice to all of us. My parents have yeah. tested it. That's yeah. why I said I must give this testimony. You will not be stubborn again. I will not be stubborn again. I cannot come to church when I don't eat. I will eat <laughs> if I can. <laughs> Amen. But the woman don't worry me. Eh? Hey, I be don't tell about God here. He give me and reject them. The one don't worry me. The other time. I went to my kitchen, removed food, came and gave her. I was talking, she was collapsing and going. I said, have you eaten? She said, no. I went and removed rice and granite soup. I give chop. Before I want to turn, talk for some person, one turn. You don't, you don't wipe them. Oh, wrap. You wipe them. I, I, I. I said, so, wait, wait, wait. That was one Thursday healing service. He chop them. You know, sometimes even when they give chop, high up now, if you chop, even leave small for pan, me scatter. Maybe they not say human being non-chop for that pan. E, e, we. But I like it. I like it. May God continue to bless you. Thank you. Papa. I pray I will find you coming to look for me in straight what? Street. Straight street where? <laughs> in heaven. House number what? Eleven. Eleven. Clap for Jehovah. The next testifier. Harry, please.